live this Friday, November 1st. It is such an exciting day. It's All Saints Day. It happy is All Saints all, Day. Happy All Saints Day. Such an exciting day in the world of doTERRA for a couple of reasons. I know we covered last week the holiday products. I'm going to give it away. Shopping! <laughs> That's why it's so exciting and she can't stop grinning. I was so excited when I woke up this morning. I checked it at like 3 a.m. It wasn't live yet. Then I checked it at like almost 6 live, put my order in. So excited to get these products. Uh, there's probably going to be- What products are you talking about? There's probably going to be some delay on the shipping. So they do let you know that um, just because of the just mass massive amount of products that they sell during this holiday promotion. So if you have no idea what we're talking about, reach out to us. We would love to connect with you and share these amazing products, especially the holiday ones. We're really excited about it. It's Christmas in November. Okay, so we're gonna shift gears a little bit today because <laughs> we really wanna talk about inflammation. So I have been listening to this Hormone Summit series. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, um, I really recommend you looking it up. Reach out to me. I can give you the information. But it's been, it's hours and hours and hours of people, leaders in doTERRA talking. Um, people, I think everybody who has spoken is in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. um, but it's people who, there's doctors, there's all nurses, different kinds of there's health providers of there's, all different types. Yeah. And it's pretty fantastic. So the stuff that I'm learning is pretty amazing and we are going to share at some point, but again, there's so many hours of material that I'm listening to it now for the first time and just kind of taking some notes and then we'll revisit and share it with you guys. It's actually so enthralling. This is the first time I've seen Jamie all week. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So, so we're going to talk about inflammation today because I think there's a misconception out there about inflammation and we really want to kind of make it clear, kind of set the stage, make sure everybody's on the same page, understand your body and understand obviously what it's trying to do. So without further ado, what do you think is the biggest misconception about inflammation? That it's terrible for you, right? Or that it's unwanted. Very good. Okay. I I'd have to agree. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty what would one. your answer be? Um, that people think we need to have zero inflammation in order to be healthy. That's what you're looking for. So, okay. That's the same thing that you just said. I just said it differently. <laughs> okay. Got it. So we're in the same wavelength. We still share a brain. It's still okay. So the goal is not zero inflammation. Inflammation, I want you to think of it this way. Inflammation is about recruiting cells to an area that has been damaged or harmed and needs repair. Okay, so signaling needs to happen, happens chemically, happens through uh, nerve messages, but mainly through chemicals in the body. We call them cytokines in general, just because they are cyto meaning cell and, and kine is actually short for kinesis, which means movement. So things that make cells move around, right? They're actually little chemical signalers that, that go into the surface in the cell and they say, hey, you need to do this. You need to go do something. And then those cells move in and do it. So that's what inflammation is. It's really Riveting. about recruitment of cells. So it's not always bad because if you have an area that's injured or damaged or is not functioning properly, it needs to be repaired, right? right. You need to have a healing process take place there. In order Hi, to do Carrie. that, Hi, you Mom. need to have cell signaling Sorry, that goes on. I get excited. So there are myriad, there are a myriad number of uh, cell cell cytokines, cell chemical signalers that are involved in this process. And we're not going to go through all that because that gets really muddy and we could just talk for hours and it would just not make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't matter to the lay person. You just need to know that all inflammation is not bad. So what we want to do is take crazy amounts of inflammation and bring them down to levels where the body is normally going to operate. But if you leave inflammation in a uncontrolled state, it can turn chronic. into chronic inflammation, yes. which actually does not allow the body to repair, but keeps things in a state of disrepair um, or states of chronic pain along with that. So we're talking about moderating or mitigating inflammation, but not eliminating inflammation. Let me give Very you an example important. of why that's dangerous. Yes. Let's talk about steroids for an example. Okay. So Compliant. if you have a if you have an issue, especially maybe post surgical, we're gonna have a lot of swelling and a lot of inflammation, a lot of pain, which is again nor normal part of the healing process. A lot of doctors will give you a steroid 
to quell the inflammation. The steroids are so powerful. They actually are suppressing your immune response. And immune response is part of healing from, from any kind of surgery because there needs to be a recruitment of immune cells to prevent infection, right? The danger of using steroids or using steroids too powerfully or for too long is that you're suppressing that response and then you're more susceptible to infection, okay? So mm -hmm. not good. That's why we have turned to more natural things for this so that we can lessen the severity of the inflammation, but still allow for the normal processes to come in. So we still have that protection, still have the healing, still have the um, defense mechanisms for infection control. Sure. I think that's pretty Sounds compliant. <laughs> so let me just tell you what we do on a normal basis. Now, yeah. <clears throat> our bodies are under assault all the time from microbes, let's call them. Mm -hmm. So bacteria, uh, fungi, um, mold yeast, things like that, and uh, viruses. So just existing. Constant assault. So cleanliness of the skin, keeping the skin healthy and intact, really important because that's your primary barrier. Keeping your airways really healthy as well, because that's another barrier. Um, so just doing the normal things to keeping your skin healthy, keeping your respiratory tract nice and hydrated and healthy. That's why we love diffusers, because this time of year when your heat is being used, what happens to the air in your house? Dry, dry, dry. Dries out. Is that great for your respiratory tract? No, Absolutely no. not. They have actually found, read a study recently, they said the number one thing, like in a hospital setting, that causes infection to spread more than anything else is the dryness of the air. Really? Dryness of the air was number one. When you dry out really? that air, infections spread like crazy. So humidifying the air, and that's why, another reason why we love our diffusers, humidifying the air, and then also going using on in things the room that are, tend to be antibacterial, super important. Oh, well, yeah, but what is the flip side of that? Remember all the antibacterial soap and everything that people were utilizing, and then why is that not good for you? Well, the antibacterial soaps, remember, they would always say like 99.9% .9 bacterial kill. Mm -hmm. Um if you're in Can a you battle, that if you're in a battle with knives, do you want to use a nuclear bomb every time? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Use the appropriate measures okay. for the fight that you're in. But if you use the nuclear bombs all the time, what happens to the world eventually? There's, There's nothing, nothing left. living left right. ever. And is that good? No. no. That means we're all dead. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So let's use that analogy. So, so basically, first, when he's well, talking about, bacteria. yeah, when he's talking about that, it made me think of um, the spray the on guard hand spray. yes okay super helpful okay. so yeah Moving and that's on one that we <laughs> like to use especially during cold and flu season what do you like don't to bathe use? in it let's ask so get some comments going i see carrie you're in the car so glad you joined us mom you're on the go when you're no longer in the car carrie you need to share about your anti-inflammatory protocol because you have a pretty strong testimony on handling an inflammatory process that you've dealt with for a number of years. Yes. And I know you've had some and breakthroughs. And we're probably going to have her on the q and A. I I think we're going to have to interview her at some yeah. point mm -hmm. and just have her kind of detail what her history is, tell a little bit about her story and then about how she's managed using these products because she's got a really powerful testimony. So let's just talk about general inflammation help and especially like pain and inflammation control because that's what people are really interested in, right? When you're in pain, you want to quell that pain. Now, here's another one. Very similar to what we were just talking about, taking your pain from crazy, like I'm barely managing or I'm having difficult managing it to zero. Not realistic. Is not dangerous. Good. Not good. And this is where the whole opioid crisis started because doctors prescri over prescribed hydrocodone, oxycodone, Vicodin, Percocet, Oxycontin, and now we have fentanyl and carfentanil and morphine and Dilaudid overprescribed all this stuff, what those do is they take your pain from a 10 and they make it like a zero. And why is that dangerous? Uh, why say, is that dangerous? Say, well, say I mean, something is injured, say your wrist is broken yeah. and you now have zero pain. Are you going to be oh, likely use it. to use it? Yes. Or are you going to likely to let it rest and heal and repair? Nope. You're going to be likely to use it. Yep. And then you're going to further the damage or re-injure the area and it's not going to heal properly. So zero pain is a lie and it's dangerous. So we're, when we talk about inflammation and pain control, we're not talking about elimination. We're talking about mitigation or moderating that response so that it's tolerable. 
but the signal still needs to be there so you know to not use it so that it heals. Okay? okay. Very important to understand. Thank you so, for that. One of mine, mine, I have a lot of muscular stuff, and this was my first life-changing experience, was this little guy. And if you haven't used this, you are missing out big time. So this is a rub. This is just an ointment that you put on your skin. It's phenomenal. It smells, smells like wintergreen and peppermint. Like wintergreen. It's beautiful. Um, it works it incredibly like. rapidly. Why don't you just throw a little on my neck? Spreads I'm easily. Gonna, oh, we're since you, need, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have to use it now. You can't just put it on your finger and not use it. But we so want I'm to just going to enjoy the delight you want to wash your hands after you use the deep blue because it has peppermint and wintergreen in it. You don't want to don't touch your eyes. Get it in your eyes and other don't sensitive areas. Especially for guys, don't go to the bathroom right after. Wash your hands first. <laughs> you know important. what I mean. <sighs> so, um, what I like to do, and another testimony, another person we're going to interview is your mom. Yes. Because she has a testimony about this guy, especially adding frankincense to it. I didn't bring Frank. He's back He's there. Back there. He's, he's in the, in the bleachers. Frankincense and but adding frankincense copaiba and too copaiba, are great. Um, or copaiba, whichever way you want to call that. But here's the cool thing. So pain and inflammation come from different um, pathways in the body, different cascades. They're just a series of reactions that en end up with that pain response. So there's different things that you can use to address those different parts. And it's better to use several different things in order to cover all your bases. Because yeah. if you're only addressing one pathway, but the other one is still active, then you're not going to get the response you're looking for. And this is a really great time to mention that every person's body is unique to them and is very different. So if you're working on introducing an essential oil or a doTERRA product into your life, and it's not having the benefit that you had wanted it to have. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you. It just means And there's that nothing wrong with the oils. Right. Either. And it just means that that's probably not the best oil or product for you. doTERRA has a wide range of products. They have alternatives. So just keep trying different things until you find what your body connects best with and what it responds best to. What I like to say is everybody has their own chemical signature or chemical fingerprint. Very nice. And it differs from person to person. No two people are alike. So are, is everybody going you know, to get the same response or result from what they're using? No. Nope. And that's why we use a panoply. Yeah. So maybe like what works on Chris things. might not work on Jamie. Me, right? <laughs> All right. So, so fast forward because now we're Outside in, inside in. out. Okay. So that's outside in, deep blue on the skin. Topical. Frankincense and copaiba with it. On a regular basis, where are my bites? Oh, here you are. Oh, Let's bring this in. Vitamin. Now we need to talk a little. This is going to go longer than normal and that's okay. Such important information, okay. and we're going to beat on this drum until everybody gets on this. But fundamentally, foundationally, you need to have all your bases covered. Um, nutritional deficiencies are ubiquitous. The biggest nutritional de deficiencies I heard this from a physician friend of mine about a week or two ago, and he had just gone to a conference on uh, vitamin, vitamin and supplementation in general. And the doctor there shared that the studies are showing the top three things that people are deficient in are all minerals, 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 minerals. So the top three were magnesium, potassium, and zinc. Those were the top three um, minerals that people are deficient in. The problem is testing for those, horrible. They don't, we have, don't have testing? They have testing, but it doesn't, it's not accurate at all. So accurately testing for minerals is still a big See, conundrum in medicine. They can't accurately test for it. So a lot of people have these deficiencies with no way to figure out if they're one of them. So now they're telling people you really need to take supplemental minerals to make sure that um, you're covering all your bases. And that's why, is it, yep. Mm, there it is. There it is. Okay. So Ace in the hole. You, you need to do vitamins and supplements. And these are just amazingly bioavailable and effective. So vitamins, minerals omega oils um, and essential oils, and then plant extracts to help with the, plant, with the inflammation and uh, discomfort control. <laughs> yeah, I just love that. What I also add to my arsenal on a daily basis, do you do both of these? Nope, I do this one. You do the turmeric. Yep, we covered this a couple that's weeks ago. Crazy good, we've talked Amazing. about that before. There's a sp specific pathway that that one is very active with called the five locks pathway or five lipoxygenase. That is an inflam inflammatory cascade that one's very effective at. And then the deep blue polyphenols, I take one of these every day and I will take extras if I need them 
but in terms of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and I don't even like calling them anti-inflammatory. I like it. I like to call them inflammatory regulators. Because anti-inflammatory in implies that you want to take it to zero, right? There you go. Antioxidant. Well, we want to reduce oxidative stress. <sighs> Way better. Way better. He's brilliant. So deep blue. This is part of my regular. Um, Regimen. My regular regimen along with those. Now, we're going to talk about this at a later date, but I have to mention this. If you're dealing with chronic anything, anything pain and inflammation related, I want you to check your gut. Why is gut health so important? What do we call the gut? What does Boyd call the gut? <laughs> he calls one of it our mom. Gurus, he, says the, he says your gut's the mom. And he says, what does he say about What's the saying? Mom ain't happy. Nobody's happy. Ain't nobody happy, yep. right? So if your gut is not happy, if they're not in a good balance, you're going to have some issues that are going to be it, very difficult to control. You're not going to be able to put out the peripheral fires till you get to the main immune issues, main, uh, skin issues, obviously digestive mental issues, issues, mental issues. And if your brain ain't right, you think you're going to be able to handle pain and inflammation? If your psychology oh isn't gosh. under control, if your mood isn't under control, no way. Oh, and Carrie mentioned copaiba. So let's mention these really the fast, gels. and we'll talk about these another time. Copaiba soft gels, absolutely. Um, so digestive enzymes to make sure you are actually, there we go, you are actually digesting your food properly and getting Very the proper nu nutrient extraction. Probiotics, because everybody needs to have good bacteria in their gut that they are probably lacking in, because most people are. And here's one that I've really become a fan of lately because of issues with the gut, and I just realized that it's going on because I can feel it. This little guy, GX Assist, to clear out all the garbage that's in your gut. What I found really cool is find out what, are, what is in these. Now, mm. um, this actually was covered in the Hormone Summit. So I was like, oh, wow. There's oregano leaf, melaleuca leaf, lemon peel, lemongrass leaf, peppermint plant, thyme leaf, caprylic acid? Caprylic. Oh, caprylic. 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 Yeah. So it's pretty amazing. And that's great for just cleaning out what doesn't belong. This is not going to give you roaring rapid diarrhea. Don't worry. We've taken it. it it's enteric coated. It's Ooh. very, very mild, but it's great at especially getting things like candida under control in the gut, which can be a big problem with overgrowth in the digestive Helps tract. Helps support that. Yes. Helps support the normal <laughs> bacterial load, whatever. So anyway, clean gut, healthy gut, healthy mind. Healthy body healthy body, but prevention is key. And that's why supplementation is absolutely essential. That's why that is the number one selling product in doTERRA because it's changed so many lives. Um, if you haven't used it before, you need to try it. And if you want to start out light, get the daily nutrient pack, which just has the omega oils and essential oils and the vitamins and minerals. It leaves out the plant extracts because the people, if anybody has had trouble starting with, with the vitamins at first, it's because of the alpha CRS, which is the plant extracts. So we always tell you to start low and then work your way up with them. If you want more information on that, call us or contact us. But um, health starts with the foundational nutritional support. If you don't have that, you're just going to be trying to put out fires and you're not going to be addressing root causes. We are all about root causes. Yes, absolutely. Address the root causes first, then go after the other stuff afterwards. So we've gone a little longer today. So sorry, please forgive us. But we us. can still talk for another um, hour. Let's but we do just want to mention a couple things. Um, if you're a current doTERRA customer, you can get a free bottle of white grapefruit, which doTERRA does not sell by itself. Um, but it comes this month with the Loyalty Rewards Program, and you can find out more information on that if you let us know. Um, but white grapefruit, we just want to let you know what it's good for and why you would want it. Um, it's really great for cleansing, digestive process like we were talking about today, um, creates an uplifting environment, helps maintain a healthy body weight. Woo! Here's the best one. Mix grapefruit and balance in your diffuser. Oh, so good. Oh, so mm, good. Ridiculous. So good. Yeah. So anyway, we just wanted to mention that. So thank you so much for joining us today for Friday Live. We hope to see you guys soon and have a great weekend. Love you guys. See you soon.